Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of Life's a Glitch. In this episode, we're going to be covering a glitch on the SNES version of Mega Man X3. Uh, it's a pretty simple glitch once you know what to do. Um, basically, you just start up on Neon Tiger stage, and uh, once you start up, you'll progress through the level a little bit until you reach a specific ladder, which I'll point out to you. And uh, basically what this glitch does is it uh, turns the sprites of the enemies into a jumbled mess and uh, it works on all the enemies throughout the entire area in which you do the glitch. Uh, I haven't messed with it too much so I'm not really sure if it works once if you go further on into the level but uh, I'll show you how to do it right here. Um, you basically head up this wall and uh, just work your way past these enemies. Uh, it really doesn't take too much effort but once you get over here next to uh, this ladder that's coming up, you just get on the ladder and you climb up until you reach the very top and uh, once you're standing up there, you just barely climb down, just enough to say you're climbing, and then drag down on that wall and air dash over. And then all the sprites become, uh, some of them become in, in the negative colors, some of them change the character sprites completely, uh, that one's just a disaster. And, uh, yeah, but I uh, hope you uh, have the same result. It's, uh, it seems like it's kind of random sometimes if it happens, but it works like 95% of the time, so you really shouldn't have any problems getting it to occur. And uh, there, this glitch kind of reminds me of uh, in Fl Flame Mammoth Stage in X1, you can get a very similar effect, which I showed in an earlier episode. But it uh, seems like Mega Man games seem to have a bad... Uh, track record of this kind of glitch but uh anyways thanks for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed it